Hi guys, this is Rusty78609. I'm in downtown Alpine, Texas, and I'm fixing to go do something at the Holland Hotel. And it says John R. Holland, born 1852, died 1922. Uh, he was remembered as a rancher. So it was, this hotel is named after a rancher that was born here in this area in 1922. They have a bar, it's called the Century Cocktails. You can see it right here. So you're not gonna go dry out here. But anyway, there's the sign for the hotel. In the front of it, it says Holland Hotel. And we're gonna go in. This is a historic place. See that old chandelier up there? If I can get out of the sun, maybe it'll look better. But anyway, it's got a nice, nice, nice old entrance. The address is 209 West Holland Avenue couple of old wooden benches there and a fine little entrance and where do you feel the ambiance when you go in these doors see this isn't this lovely is this nice check that out huh a little settee leather how are you sir how you doing i'm doing good i'm doing a video of your lovely hotel there you go take all the pictures you want say again take all the pictures you want thank you sir you have a pure heart see there's a fellow texan isn't this beautiful? And this lovely lady here on the left was nice enough to tell me that I could come in and make a video. What is your name? My name's Alicia. This is Alicia. So if you come to the Holland Hotel, you'll not only meet her, but you'll meet, there's a dog. <laughs> and that is what, I think he works here because when I came in, he had his face right here looking at me like, are you gonna check in or what? <laughs> he's already adopted, so um, he's the, 29th I think foster dog that we've had here at the hotel and um, it's a very successful foster program and somebody already met him here last night and adopted him really yeah. well he's a very friendly dog what yeah. kind of dog is that um, I don't know um, Heinz 57 yeah there you go that's what you call truly a good mix but anyway this hotel has been here since like 1928 1928. 1928 and it's named after a rancher right um, well, it's the, uh, his name was John R. Holland. Uh -huh. He's the gentleman that built the hotel, and I, I believe they did have you know a background in ranching. Okay. Um, the building next door is actually the original Holland Hotel, and it was built in 1911. And you have how many rooms? We have 27. And the room rates range from a low to from 125 up to about 250. You know, when we're busy, right. some of the suites. And, and the parking for the hotel guests is beside the hotel it's here on the right side. Right here on the, the west side of the property. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I saw the parking. But anyway, I'm just going to do a short video of the hotel and uh, trying to think if there's anything else you could tell me. We got the rates. The location is what? What's the address? 209 West Holland Avenue, 209, Alpine, Texas. 209 West Ho Holland Avenue, Alpine, Texas. And Alpine's a beautiful little area, folks. So if you like Texas, you'll love Alpine. Isn't this wonderful? This ambiance. See, you probably used to it. You don't <laughs> notice it. But yeah, I love the word ambiance. You know what I mean? I heard that about 10 years ago and I thought, what a word. It's almost like, you know, you can feel it, you know? How are you, sir? Am I interrupting your reading? No, you're fine. Okay, where are you from? Uh, San Antonio. All the way from San Antonio. Do you come here often? Uh, this is the first trip. First trip, just to get out of the heat, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, li I live, uh, you know where Inks Lake is? Oh, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah well, I have a place uh, right near Inks Lake State Park. And uh, I full-time RV travel around, but this is a great place. I come, I've been coming out here for 25 years, oh, yeah. and, and I love it, love it, love it. But anyway, enjoy your reading material. And Yeah, but isn't this great? Don't you just love this ambiance? I mean, isn't this nice? Yeah, I just love it. I mean, I mean, I could just see the old ranchers in the 30s sitting in here and deciding who was going to be the next senator. <laughs> Have you been to the Buckhorn in San Antonio? A uh, long, long time ago, yeah. It used to be the Buckhorn Saloon and Hotel or something. Buckhorn Saloon Museum. Yeah. And it was at the Lone Star Brewery. You mind if I put you in the video? No, that's fine. Okay. Go ahead. You were talking about the Buckhorn Saloon in San Antonio? Buckhorn Saloon and Museum, downtown San Antonio. We moved it to Houston Street, its original location, back in 98, 99. Beautiful facility. Reminds you of a lot of this. Are you affiliated with the Buckhorn? Not anymore. Okay, you were at one time? Yes. I lived in San Antonio when the mayor was McAllister. <laughs> it goes way back. Yeah, I worked, I worked right, right downtown at the old Milan building. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I worked for a CPA firm called Rackey and Harris. Oh, okay, correct. <laughs> Used to go down on the river walk and eat. Thought that was cute.
cute anyway. I was, I was in my up and coming years, I guess you'd say. <laughs> anyway, enjoy your visit. Thank you for be, for your courtesy. Anyway, let's see what we've got here. They have this neat little room. I don't know what. I guess this is a. Is this a bar here, or is this? Um, your, yes, we use it for events. Do you? Yeah, okay. And is that what? Is that a pronghorn? Sorry. That head is that a pronghorn? Something. Um, that's a kudu from Africa, and he was running so fast when he hit that wall, look what he did. <laughs> and the other one is, uh, that's elk horns? No, elk. elk. Elk have, do elk have horns or antlers? Elk? I don't know. What? I think those are moose, though. Okay, we'll I see. Don't know where they came from. Well, uh, horns are permanent, antlers fall off. Anyway, let's go on, guys. What am I holding up here for? Another little room with some ambiance that you could have a little private sitting area in. And they have a big fireplace over here. And I imagine, see, assumption is the mother of all mistakes. So if I say I assume they use that in the winter, they may not. But look at the roof. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's just really pretty, you know. There's very few places that have this flavor, you know. You got all these leather old chairs and they're really old and you know, if you could sit down and they would talk to you, just think of the things they would say. Probably things you don't want to hear, but th things that would not be politically correct, I can assure you. Here's another little room. I'm not sure what this is, but it goes somewhere. Here's a nice painting on the wall. Nice. See, there's Rusty with his gardener's hat on. You got restrooms here, and then this goes back here, probably to somebody's office. No, that's the men's rest. Oh, this is the men's restroom right here. For, so you guys want to know where the men's restroom is? It's right here. Everybody knows that. Yeah, it's still got the old antique-looking stuff. Got high ceilings. Yeah, we got ten-foot ceilings here, probably. Okay, let's go on around guys because I don't have a thing to do this morning but this. They have a little sitting area out here and I've been here. I've stayed here before. They had a room that had a hot tub up on the roof but, or, and they got rid of it. They don't use it anymore. They said it was more trouble than it's worth. But this out here, see they've got this little fountain. And this is all enclosed by the, the hotel itself. So you have all this privacy without any noise from the street. You see, and that little fountain just adds a lot of flavor. See, you've got all these tables out here. You've got some uh, cactus without the thorns. And this is, it says Rio Grande up there. I guess that's lighted up in the evening. Different kinds of cactus around. And when the sun is directly overhead, you've got some trees for shade. And then you've got this umbrellas at the table but anyway you could sit out here and have a drink in the evening and or breakfast I guess you can have your meals out here I never did but it doesn't matter what I do but this is a, it's three let's see one two three floors three stories high 27 rooms and this is nice I mean you know if you had a you know a group three or four or five people six people yeah you come out here and sit and have a drink and tell your best stories and go on with your life you know, talk about that fish you almost caught, and uh, it says no alcohol past this point. Apparently, this goes. You can actually go to the parking where you park your car and hit this way. You take a left right here, and that's where the cars are parked. They have the outside parking over here. You go down here and go to the left, and there's some parking there. And, and there's and, and that's important because when you get here, uh, there's not a lot of parking on the street in Alpine, Texas that's available so let's go somewhere else but I love this little sitting area here it's really beautiful man it's really nice and you got some food smells here so they've got a vent from the kitchen somewhere around here yes and they're also smoking some meat out front uh, some some thick steaks that they serve to people in the evenings here uh, this is locked, so we can't get in there. This is the bar and that uh, opens, I guess, probably around four during the day. But this is nice. This is the old Holland Hotel in Alpine, Texas. 
And uh, this is uh, what, July the 18th, 2018, about, oh, I don't know, maybe 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I'm Rusty, Rusty78609. So let's go back out towards the front. How neat. How did we live without smartphones? <laughs> but we did it. Another wonderful piece of work. You know, if would some if You said your ado dog adoption program was going really well. It is going really well. Well, if I got back there, would you think somebody would adopt me? <laughs> huh? <laughs> you think you think they would? What's so funny? I'll adopt your hat. I love that. <laughs> well, you, you, you can get these for like cheapo, cheapo. The, the, it's called a gardener's hat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You well, I, I think Ace Hardware. You? No, in, in uh, 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 Kingsland, Texas, South. Oh, okay, okay. Ace Hardware. Yeah, have yeah, but yeah, you can get them over the internet. It's just called a gardener's hat. Okay. Yeah. Great. All set. Do so you want me to picture out for the Yes, please. Thank you. I appreciate that. But anyway, this is that you can take the stairs up to the rooms. Or, if you don't want to, there's an elevator. How neat. And then what do we, oh, this is the restaurant here. There's nobody in here, so I'm gonna walk in. Yeah, this is where you can sit and have your breakfast. They also have a pool table, so if you were in the evening, uh, you know, they got a TV, big, 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 big TV, naturally. I would have to get rid of that. And they've got a little coffee bar here. And if you want an orange or an apple, help yourself. And this is the front up here. We're just going on here like I know what I'm doing. Yeah, this is an old wooden pool table. This thing goes back a few hundred years, I guarantee, or a hundred years anyway. Yeah, that's old wooden. Yep, I played on many just like it in my lifetime. And they have some table games if you want to use them. And then that's the front. You're overlooking Holland Avenue. It says, there's an old sign here. It says 10 miles to Holland Hotel, Alpine, Texas, $1.50, $1.75, a single. You got to know that sign is older than I am, probably. You know, I just love these ceilings. But anyway, I'll end the video here in this uh, sitting area near the restaurant. Uh, anyway, from uh, Alpine, Texas, in the Holland Hotel, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye. Buy anything your little heart desires. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission and it doesn't cost you one penny. So what else? Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, stand guard at the door of your mind, do every, take deep breaths, do whatever it takes to keep your health, folks. Anyway, and you'll be out doing stuff like this. Thumbs up, guys. Enjoy your life. Adios. Bye-bye.